Well, I invite all of the children of the parish, uh, no matter how old you are, if you consider yourself a child uh, in any way, come forward and join me so that we can talk together. So I think Ms. Taylor's the oldest one who thinks she's a child. So that's his. <laughs> Take a seat. Yeah, perfect, perfect. It's good to be with you guys today. It's kind of a little rainy outside, isn't it? Yeah. So that's a perfect place to be when it's rainy outside to come to church, I think. I think so. Well, this is our children's Sunday, and we have one of the weirdest stories um, on this Sunday. So my job is to try to make it make sense a little bit more. Good, good. I'm going to try. I didn't promise I would do it. I said I would try. So we have a story that Jesus tells. Anybody know what the stories that Jesus tells are called? Oh, look at all the hands. What do we call them? They're in the Bible, and their preachings. He is preaching, but he uses stories to teach us. Anybody know what those special stories are called that he uses to teach us? Have you ever heard the word parable? Yes, so parable is a story that didn't really happen, uh, but it's a, a story that Jesus uses to teach us. And they actually think this might have been a story that, uh, that had happened around, and Jesus is using it to, to, to make an example. But the story is this. There was a judge. He wasn't a very nice judge. Uh, he wasn't a very fair judge. He was really just kind of uh, taking care of himself and himself only. And there was a widow. Does anybody know what a widow is? What's a widow? You don't know how to explain it? Do you want me to try? Okay. All right. What do you think? What do you think? A woman who's not married. A woman, yep, who's, who, uh, whose husband has died. Um, and, uh, and they really had nobody to take care of them way back there uh, that, and a long, long time ago. Um, and so it was the church and the community's job to take care of the widows. And this widow uh, has somebody who is not treating her very fairly. And that's where a judge should come and make sure she's being taken care of and that things are fair and just, right? But does the judge do that? No. no. And she goes back again and again and again and again and again until finally the judge says, you know, I don't necessarily care that much about her, but I don't want her to keep bugging me, so I'm going to do what she wants. Is that the right reason to make the decision? No. But he makes the right decision, even if it's for the wrong reasons, and he takes care of um, uh, and he takes care of her. Do you think Jesus tells the story because God's like that judge? No, absolutely not. So, but he uses that to teach us a little bit about God. So do you think this story um, is supposed to uh, tell us that when we're in the grocery store line and we see a chocolate bar during checkout and we really, really want it, that if we nag our parents enough and we ask them enough times and we say, uh, can I please, 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 what about this one, what about this one, uh, that maybe they give it to us, think that's what we're supposed to learn from this? No, you don't think so? Okay, I'll try again. Let me see. Um, let's see. Who takes care of you? Does somebody take care of you? Yeah. Mommy. Mommy and Daddy take care of you? Our parents take care of you? Anybody else take care of you? Adults take care of you? Uh, your babysitter takes care of you? All right, you guys have some great people taking care of you. And your granny and grandpa take care of you? You have wonderful people taking care of you. And what do they do to take care of you? What kind of things do they do? They're nice to you? What other things do they do? They feed you. Why do they feed you? What, do you need food? Yes. Okay, so you need food and they feed you. What else do they do? Food and water? Both. Yep, they take good care of you, huh? They give you food and water because you need water too, right? Yep, yep. What else do they do to take care of you? Anything else? You guys all look pretty well dressed for a rainy day, right? Did you, did you have to sew your clothes today so that you had clothes to wear? No, so you're, you, they make sure. And you guys, uh, did your feet all get wet because you didn't have shoes on or socks? No. So you have shoes. 
So your parents or whoever takes care of you got you, got you, got you plenty of clothes and they fed you. And did, did they ever tell you to brush your teeth? Yes. Did they ever tell you to comb your hair? Yes. To take a bath or shower? Yes. What other rules do they give you? Don't what? Uh, Don't dawdle. I have, we have to have. I've never said it exactly like that, but we need that rule, especially on school mornings as we're trying to get ready. Uh, what other rules do they have for you? Uh, do any of them make you do homework? Do you guys ever have homework or schoolwork? Uh, do they think you should do that? Yeah. You don't like homework at all? Yeah. But do you think your parents give you these rules just because they can? You do. Or do you think they, why do you think they give you these rules? Why do you think the people that take care of you give you these rules? Because they're keeping you healthy. Because they're keeping you healthy. They're keeping your mind healthy by learning, right, right, right? And they're, they're keeping you warm by making sure you have clothes. Um, and they are keeping you healthy uh, in your heart by showing you love. How do they show you love? What other things besides uh, Absolutely. And do they teach you how to take care of other people too? Do they teach you things like that? Uh, like how to treat other people? Yeah. And they feed you. So they do all these things, right? So what Jesus, and then you're probably wondering what this has to do with that really complicated story, right? So Jesus is saying, God loves you more than you could ever, ever imagine. Ever, ever imagine. And if this judge that really doesn't care that much about that widow, does he? If he does what's, what's right for the widow, how much more would someone who loves you take care of you, right? And if God loves you more than you can ever imagine, wouldn't God do amazing things to take care of you? Mm -hmm. Do you trust your parents to take care of you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, God, you know what God wants? God wants you to trust God to take care of you just like you trust your parents. For you to believe that God will, will do wonderful things for you. And it might not be exactly what you want, like the candy bar in the, in the aisle, you know, that you don't get sometimes, even if you want it. Uh, but God will take care of you. So God wants you, even if it doesn't look like you're getting exactly what you want, sometimes uh, you pray for things uh, that you really, really, really want. Uh, but God gives you what you need. But God wants you to know that no matter what, no matter if it didn't, doesn't seem that way, or no matter if it isn't exactly uh, the way that you, you wanted it, that God will take care of you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Raise your hand if you think God's going to take care of you. And God said, trust in that, and pray for that, and know just like your parents take care of you, that God will take care of you, no matter what. Does that make sense? Did it help make that story make sense? So did I do what I set out to do? Yeah. Sort of, sort of, all right. Adults, does it make any more sense to you all? Yes. All right, well thank you all for helping me. How do I usually close my prayers? What word do I usually say? Amen. Amen. Think we can all say it together? One, two, three. Amen. Thank you for all of the help. Think you can find your parents? Yeah. Yeah. Think you can thank them for all the ways they take care of you? Yeah. No.